Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more World Betrayed DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Kong Rong. So we have um, successfully defended Beihai from Yuan Shao and Yuan Tan. We've executed Yuan Shao, so Yuan Shang is now in charge. And Yuan Tan was beaten in the field, though our army is pretty knackered, but it did open up the opportunity for us to take Tai Shan. We are slightly concerned that there is Wen Chou and Yan Liang uh, in a boat knocking about over here. I think they're going for Li Yu Shan who is a friend of ours, but I can't be certain. Um, we have uh, brought in Zhao Du, um, who uh, was with Liu Bei before, so I don't think there's a threat of him betraying us if he's a spy. Uh, I doubt he is a spy anyway. <clears throat> and we're going to create an army with Xun Yu and Tian Feng and Zhao Du um, as time goes on. Zhang Bai is one of my friends. He's at war with Liu Bei, who's my coalition buddy. So, yeah. Why who's the clever one in hand? Okay. Gao Gan has been killed. All right, that's interesting. Shao's destroyed. Wow. I guess the Black Man of Bandits got rid of him. Ooh. 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 Yuan Shu declares his intention. So Yuan Shu um, has uh, decided to declare himself emperor. Messages have reached you that the warlord Yuan Shu has declared himself emperor under heaven. Such a brazen act has angered many, but he has also drawn powerful nobles to his cause. Sudden but inevitable, in a display of staggeringly expected behavior, Lu Bu has betrayed Liu Bei, seizing a sizable chunk of his territory and declaring independence. And the emperor has escaped. Taking advantage of the division between his regents, the Emperor has slipped their grasp and called upon Law Warlords to defend him. Already many have answered the call and have taken him to the former capital of Law Yang. So this is uh, Yang Feng um, has taken the Emperor. Yang Feng, of course, is former Yellow Turban, the White Wave Bandits. Um, shoot, gong oh, piece. Okay, that's a lot. Confirmous Ying Shao, I don't need him. Devious Attendant. Yeah. For now. Um, right. Liu Bei has been left only with this. <clears throat> but he's got armies. He's got good armies. He should smash the shit. And Zhang Liao's not there anymore. I wonder if Gao Shun is even there. He should absolutely wreck face. Um, you know, we need more money, so we're gonna have to wait. Fine, kill. Da Yi Jiang Ling, more gun puts home. Nice. Uh, we're gonna take the money. Fang Tama Hui Jia Chuba. Yeah, and rock back this way, please. And we've got a tycoon. Now. That's a better deal. Sweet. Right, you guys can shift back there. <clears throat> uh... Our trade is is not not exactly. I will have a non-aggression with Zhang Yang. Uh, I will non-aggression with Jing. Yuan Shu is going to hate it, but I don't give a toss about Yuan Shu. And I am going to. Do it with him as well. Do you have anything? Nothing really. But what I could do is request regular payments. So say 600. All 
All right. Uh, request regular. Okay. That will work quite nicely. This can give me a little bit more money. Uh, non-aggression pack. I'm not going to non-aggression with Lubu. Um, just because I want my coalition buddy to take him out. Taishan, what do we think of their defenses? We think they're mediocre at best. Okay. Nice. Yes. Yes. Got Gongsun's and the coalition. We have Yuan Shang trapped between us right now. <clears throat> it's exactly how I did it with um, Gongsun Zan, except of course Hong Rong gets wiped really quickly in the campaign. Uh, Xiao, Xiao, wow. Price of ambition. The Emperor has issued a decree, at last labelling Yuan Shu a traitor and demanding his defeat. The warlord's ambition for the throne has roused the Emperor's ire, and now he must finally face the consequences of his reckless, selfish actions. I um, am not in a position to do that, I'm afraid. Ancillary has got Master of Writing. Okay. Uh, back to the trade port. Mm. See, my economy just isn't doing very well. I can wipe out your tan. Uh, yeah. Not quite, we don't have quite enough money. He has a really nice force as well. Can we sell some food? You got food, you don't have food, you have no food. Uh, Li Jie has very little food. Gong Sun Zan. You have food. You have food. You have food. Eh. Gong Sun Du has no food. Uh, I'm gonna trade food. Want oh, money, cash in hand right now. There. That'll do. That will do right there. Crew, our man, Shio. Shio, you will be the commanding general. Um, I've done that without actually checking, but he should be good whilst you... I mean, you've got stuff that works in your favour, actually. I'll give you that. Right, they can replenish there for a couple of turns. Um, and then we'll head off to Taishan. Awesome. <laughs> How do you think that was going to go? Where is he off to? He attacks Donglai. I'm in trouble. I got nothing to defend it. The Emperor finds a protector. <clears throat> Squatting among the destroyed remnants of Luoyang, the Emperor and his court find themselves in dire circumstances. Lacking supplies, they are reduced to eating roots from the earth. The court looks to a protector. And the Tao have answered the call. The Emperor now falls into their grasp. Interesting. That's the event that I couldn't spark when I was playing as Tao Tao. So Zhang Yao's back. Alright. Um, 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 um. Okay. If that's the case, you shift here. You're going to... 
a put here. And we'll prepare to take that territory. I think that's all we can do. Uh, I wonder if Zhang Liao came back, was like temporarily with someone else. Wang Sanzan, you have done well, my man. Wu Jin Ting. Excellent. I mean, you wouldn't want her and Han Rong in uh, the army together, but you know, fair play to you. Uh, no. Shumu Yeah. Yeah. Invite the bandits in. All right. So I've lost Dong Lai. That's okay. Take Tai Shan. Occupy. There we go. Commandery and conquer. Excellent experience. <clears throat> Kong Long destroys Yuan Tan. Yuan cannot be allowed to continue their self aggrandizing and expansionist agenda. Especially not as they've always viewed your lands with desire. Cut them down and make the land safer by their absence. Lantan has just got that territory north of the river now. Uh, scare? Yes, please. That will be quite the challenge to take, actually. Um, we're going to need you... Two more turns. Um, okay. Quite, yeah. Now let's peace. Trade territory. Give me Donglai. Uh, I got nothing I can give him. <sighs> Absolutely nothing I can give him. We're gonna have to fight him for it. Fair enough. I will fight him for it. Uh, we are running short of cash though. Um, so. So, so, so. George is building up keeping along yet. Beihai. Beihai has commerce. So, Tianfang, whilst nothing else is going on, uh, go nuts. Bring me more money. And from that position, if I was him, I'd come down this way. But we'll see what he does. You had your baby, what are you doing? I um, should be glad, that's my uh, coalition buddy. Ah, he. I guess uh, this Gongsun Zan AI has watched my six turn perfect start. I'm mean, not exactly, he hasn't saved his vassal, but uh, he's done a pretty good job nonetheless. No, thank you. Herdsman. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, not that one, this one. Okay. Um. So he's shifted off. He's going to take Dong Lai. Okay, we're just going to have to accept we're going to lose it. We've got one turn left. Let's shift towards... Bay high. 
How long for this? Four turns. Alright, fine. Um. Yeah. I need the money right now. Come from commerce is good. Diplomatic relations will satisfaction. Character experience, not necessary. Income from commerce. If I need income from commerce, that's the one I go for. But the recruitment cost. Uh, peasantry isn't necessary. That's definitely not necessary. I think income from commerce. There, we're making money again. Right, we just have to accept he's going to ravage Donglai. It's fine. Do your thing. So <clears throat> now he's taking Donglai. We have to rush all of our armies back to defend. Okay, that's not ideal. Liu Chong is assassinated by Liu, uh, by Yuan Shu. Mighty warrior and hero Liu Chong has been slain by the coward Yuan Shu. He said that he employed assassins to kill the prince during the night. I hope that Lord Jun survives. I like Lord Jun. I like having Lord Jun, I should say. So this is going to have crap all guards. Okay. It's going to take him two turns to get there. He is likely to come down this way. So we're going to move the main army down here. You're going to shift forward to here and go into ambush because so we can take that from under his nose without him knowing Taishan over here and stuff like that they're gonna have to look after themselves if we get attacked unfortunately I don't have anything to help Toto is he's doing what whatever he's doing that's quite good <clears throat> oh look at that I think cutting the head off of uh, Yuan Shao has left his territory in an absolute mess. If we can beat his army here, that's it. He's done for. He is absolutely done for. Um, big deal. Aggression. Li Ying is not necessary. Zhang Yang. Yeah, I will sign with you. Um, what I quite like are some... I'd like some money. How much money can you give me? It's really not much, but it'll do. It'll do. Right, his army has replenished. So what I'm going to do is take Hong Rong's army to Lang Ye, and then from Lang Ye we're going to try and assault Dong Lai farmland. Interesting. Liu Chong has been replaced. Okay, for moments, Lord Jun is here. Clay fish. I cannot afford to hire Lord Jun. I really should. The guy is a monster. <sighs> um. There. Recruited. What's, what's up, what's up, what's up? You're the one that's unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Have a... Oh no, we can give <sighs> hmm let's have a look so Lord Jun you're you're not spectacularly happy are you I reckon your upkeep's quite nice though hmm yeah nothing else I can do there you what are you complaining about have that for now why are you unhappy? Because I has a higher court position. Well, I don't have any at all. Anywhere. So, shut up. Um, 
Yeah, shift over here. We're now in position to support this town in case they come. Here. Go really quickly. Delegate. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We'll go on Shinyo. Uh, ignore forest penalties. Night battles is quite nice. We'll get that for now. Because having Shinyo is effectively like having another strategist, so we could ignore a strategist. Right, what are you going to do now? Yeah. Okay, so we'll pull back Shinyo. We'll shift Kong Rong up the other way. I don't mind that territory becoming basically a no man's land as people fight over it. Hey, it's gone. I'm yeet. Okay. We're gonna advance up here. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we bring a lodge in, is it possible? For us to defend this town. They're going to take ages to replenish. They're going to be on us next turn. It's these guys. They're the worry. They are the worry. Um, yeah, you could be an orator. I. We fall back. Let him have it. Let him have it. Out you come. Nah, you don't give anything for that. There we go. We have them. It's be a weird army. It's only f it's only for, for the short term. You're still pissy. <sighs> Uh, I have to deal with you in the future. Mm. No, because it means I have to have peace. May I mean, I might have taken that if I wasn't trying to retake Donglai. Ah, alright, we got him. We've got him. So now I've got to combine my two armies. If I can combine my two armies, I can take them out. If... <clears throat> right. Um... Get that army there. It's a problem. I can't do anything about it. Got an eavesdropper. That's more authority. We don't need authority for any of them. Because the eavesdropper is fine. He does have Gaoshan. Who else does he have? Gosh, he has everyone. He has absolutely everyone. Okay. Right. Uh, 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 what's the fastest way possible? Two, three... 
Okay. Whatever happens is going to take time. You set up in an ambush position. Um, we probably don't want to ambush them. All things considered. Aggression pact. Shake fool. No. Warp. Become vassal. Tell is an option. Sensor is an option. Interesting. Uh, peace with Yuan Shang. Give me Dong Lai back without me having to fight for it. He's not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna. Fine. Where are you moving to? Back up here. Gotcha. I've got you now. So, we are going to fight for it, but I can do this without having to fight his army. Okay? So, because he's moved out of uh, the farmland, we're going to take Hong Rong in there, take the farmland, win it all back, and then peace out. Zerong. Okay, so, in here, take it, delegate. Occupy, Oath Swan, Capturing Skin, Wang Xiu. Uh, we shall... Ooh. Unyielding Earth is awesome. So we're going to shift off to Unyielding Earth. Zhao Du, you are a sulky boy. Um, don't command us too much money. Art of writing. No good. Earth dragon has a bit over the top. And the left. There, you can be general of the left. Oh, shut up. Okay, we've got him trapped. Some trade influence is quite nice. Kind of available assignments, relations plus 10 satisfaction. Take that. Everybody shut up. Right. Everybody's feeling better. Now. Peace. Uh, what do you have? Nothing. What about regular payments? How much can I get from you? Okay. That's quite a large jump. Can we get food? No, we cannot get any food. What about just mm, hard cash? That's nice. That's very nice. Five. Three, two. A bit too much. That will do. That will do. We finally have money again. We have our territory back. We're not under threat anymore, and we can start to invest in the economy. So, what do I need, really? Um, I think we need. Dong Lai to start making more money and Lang Ye to start making more money. Uh, Lang Ye doesn't make money. Um, where's peasantry? Get one of those. And I think we'll get one of those. That's a huge chunk of cash. We're not going to have much cash coming back, but it's dealt with. Now we can move, I think we'll move you down here. Why does Xu Zhao have that land? Who is Xu Zhao? Xu Zhao? Isn't Xu Zhao from down here?
Uh, interesting. Well, he's someone we could potentially fuck up. Or absorb peacefully, I should say. Yep, go away. I don't want to fight you anymore. I would love them to add the Korean Peninsula, like uh, the dependent state of Liaodong, um, Liaojong, um, Liaoxi, and like all the territories uh, that um, Gong Sun Du was fighting over. I think that would be incredible. Give Gong Sun Du something to do as well. Duangwu Festival. It's a momentous day. Drinks are poured freely and the smell of food fills the air. As you celebrate the honour of Chuan, the teams pull their dragon boats through the river with much clamour and cheering from the banks. By a truly breathtakingly slim margin, your team rose to victory. Glory is yours. Okay. Um, physical exertion is not... Oh, two, he's pretty solid. Um, I just can't. Can I? Oh, I really can't, I don't have the money. Um, yeah, you shift all the way over to Taiwan. You come down here to Lang Ye. Kim Fong can hold there. Uh, do you know what? We call you. And I'm going to give you an assignment. And then we'll make this a decent army. Okay, that gives me a tiny bit more money as well. I mean, I could recall this whole unit, but I don't want to <laughs> basically um no i'm all right with that shu jiao no territory what territory do you have you only have you have more than that yeah you are the guy from down there how the hell did you end up with that territory so Have that. It's 13. Alright. There's potential. There is potential to do a deal with Xu Zhao. Um. Tietan Jiju, Nanti, Ying Zhen Harji. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Come offer food. Don't need that much food. Uh, we could trade. Oh, you can have that. And I will happily trade an eavesdropper. And a merchant. It's 1.2. Then I could just. A little bit too much. Uh, make a regular payment of there. I'll take that territory, please. <clears throat> Thank you. And now we're a second Marquis. Um, we got the lumber yard. We got the fishing port. So we should be able to make some money from Langye right now. At least Lubu with Langye's his capital. Uh. Yeah, well, Lu Bei's gonna want that. Lu Bei is currently. I don't know. Is Lu Bei at war with him? Yeah, Lu Bei's at war with Lu Bu. That's fine. So, I mean, Lu Bu's gonna lose, basically. He doesn't stand a chance. Um, but we've managed to take Lang Ye, which is quite nice. Uh, we've gained some territory from their conflict. Slightly cheeky, but it does the job. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna leave it there for. Uh, this episode next episode we're gonna to have to look at the unassigned positions and see if we can sort out some of our key people into decent decent roles and um yeah now we start the peaceful expansion i'm not quite sure how i'm gonna do it i think there's still money to be made by smacking you on shan but uh, we're gonna to have to wait for a while if we want to be considered trustworthy but yeah i really look forward to uh, seeing you next time thank you very much for joining me bye bye